Welcome back to ENC on three. An organization focused on helping kids and their families amid childhood cancer battles is hosting a fundraising event next month. I am joined by Lynn Pischke with Riley's Army. She's here to tell us more about the second annual Glow for Gold Gala coming up in August. Welcome to ENC at three. Lynn, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We really appreciate you inviting us. Of course. Yeah, we have a lot of time to prepare. The gala mm -hmm. is next month, but I'm sure there's yes. a lot that goes into so gearing much. up for it. Yes, so yeah. much. We're working on sponsorships and raffle items and ticket sales and um, selling out every table that we have. Our goal is 250 guests and we're looking okay. to make $30,000. Okay, and you wanna, let's break that goal, right? Okay, yes, <laughs> let's, let's exceed, exceed that for sure. We spend close to $50,000 a year in direct financial support to our families who are battling pediatric cancer. Wow. So we need to raise this money every year to continue to take care of them. So it goes directly to children who are battling childhood cancer. It started right here in Greenville, it your did. organization, Riley's Army, and you it told did. me that it's expanding to the West. It is, we have a triangle chapter now that we're so excited about and so proud of, um, but we, our goal is to be the largest support organization for kids in North Carolina. That's awesome, and you have a long history. I believe you've said you've been around for about 14 years. 14 years that we've been in business, and until there's a cure, yeah. we're looking forward to not being in business anymore, but yeah. until there's a cure, um, we're gonna be there for the families in North Carolina that need us. It's a, it's not as uncommon or rare as you'd like to think. It's yeah. one in 285 kids will be diagnosed before their 19th birthday. Wow. So when you think about that as a whole, that's an astronomical amount of kids just in North Carolina that are going to be diagnosed this year. Yeah, and way too many. Way too many. And when the diagnosis comes, the whole family is thrown into a real tornado of fear, confusion, mm -hmm. trying to understand their diagnoses, trying to help the siblings cope with the fact that they have a sick brother or sister. Yeah. Usually one of the parents has to stop working, at least for a short time, while the child is getting treatment. And when that happens, the income gets cut significantly. So they really need our support. Yeah, they have more bills and yet maybe fewer working to support 100%. the family. So really yes. tough situation. And I believe I saw you've helped out hundreds of kids since you have started it, uh, 14 years ago. We are at 427 families wow. that we have historically helped since we began 14 years ago. That's awesome. And um, we get about, we have about 30 active families at any given time. Um, we saw a bit of a decline with new referrals through COVID, okay. probably people just not going for regular routine screenings yeah. and so they had later diagnoses. It's, we're getting, it's getting caught Taking up now up. though. Yeah, we've had probably this year 11 new families referred to us. That's a lot for it just being July. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the event itself. It's coming up in August. Yes. Uh, let's talk at the time and date is on the 19th. Mm -hmm. And then what should folks know about purchasing tickets? You have some options there. We do. Um, you can purchase a table of eight for a price break of $50 okay. for $750. It's $200 a couple. If you're coming single, it's $125 per person. We have sponsorship levels that start at $750 and go all the way up to $2,500. Um, we're looking for raffle items, unique experiences, gift cards, anything that someone would, not, would want to share. And we're happy to thank any company that supports us by promoting them on our social media and on our website. Very cool. And what, where's the location? It's at the Hilton Greenville. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you mark your calendar for that. And then you said you have some deals depending on how many people you want to get on board and the attire. How should someone plan to dress? That's a good question. We have, <laughs> I get a million calls the week before. Because when you say gala, I think people think full length gowns for women and tuxedos. Well, a tuxedo isn't necessary. You'll see yeah. most of the gentlemen will have on a blazer or sport coat, some wear ties, some do not. Okay. Cocktail attire for women, so short or long cocktail dresses, even sparkle Sparkly tops and pants are, are fine. Yeah, so not too hard to throw an outfit together, I think. And no. of course, you know whenever you come that you're supporting such a great cause. Yes, and we have to thank our presenting sponsor, which is North Carolina Off-Road. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Lynn, for being part of such a great cause. Thank and you. for coming on to talk about it. Uh, make sure that you mark your calendar. Try to make it out to the gala if you can. Buy some tickets, get some other people mm -hmm. on board. Uh, it's an exciting time to look forward to. Thank you. We appreciate it so much. Of course. We have more great stories coming up on ENC at 3 right after the break. We'll see you then.